Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For today's session, I prepare a breathing technique for you. This is called Pranayama in Sanskrit and we're going to learn how to do Nadi Shodhana. This is a technique that we're going to isolate each part of your nose, so each nostril, using first the right, then the left and then combining them. Why do we do this? This breathing technique helps activating the nadis. The nadis are energy channels in your body. And as well, I guess you know one part of your body is controlled by the opposite hemisphere of your brain. Let's call it this way. Your left side of your body, the movement when you're moving the left hand, the left leg, is connected to the right brain. The right brain is in charge of self-expression, creativity, reading uh, emotions of the people and in the contrary the left part of the brain is in charge of the language of the mathematical skills being logic and that hemisphere will control the right side of your body the movements that you do with your right side so this breathing technique is going to help you activating both hemispheres of your brain and activating those nadis energy channels for that, you're gonna get started sitting in a comfortable position. Always when you do breathing techniques or pranayama, you want to do it with your back completely straight. You can be sitting down. I'm sitting here in a block. This is really comfortable in a yoga block. Or you can be sitting down, crossing your legs in lotus posture. If you prefer to be laying down as well, feel free. And we're gonna get started. First of all, we're gonna go into a mudra. The mudra is a movement with your hands, especially with your fingers. So it's a gesture that's going to help us connect your body with your mind. What happens when we do a mudra? I'm sure you've seen people in a meditative, meditative state doing the chin mudra, index and thumb finger. Why do they do that? So basically these mudras, this connection with your fingers, they will stimulate endorphins. And those endorphins in your body can change your mood or can help you with the vitality of your body. That's why we use the mudras for, especially in breathing techniques, meditation skills or techniques, we use them a lot. So for this breathing technique, Nadi Shodhana, we're gonna do chin mudra on the left hand. Chin mudra is index finger connected to the thumb and the other three fingers they're going to be relaxed you can extend them just keep them relaxed on top of your knee remember if you're sitting down just keep them on top of your left knee if you're laying down keep them next to your hips and the right hand will go into different mudra so your thumb will be free to move and your uh, ring finger will be active as well. So you're gonna keep it like that. It will look like this from the front. So this is called Vishnu Mudra. This mudra over here. And this one is Chin Mudra. So left hand will be resting in Chin Mudra. Right hand will be the active one. Keeping your back really straight. Make sure that your both nostrils are clear. Sometimes we have blockages, allergies, sinuses. So before entering into the breathing technique, make sure you clear your nose and go back again with your mudras. With your thumb finger, you're gonna close the right nostril. So right nostril will be closing like this. Inhaling through the left side. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the left. Let's just activate that part, that right side of your brain. Inhaling and exhaling through the left. Your thumb is closing your right nostrils. Going through your own pace, inhale and exhale. Exhale slowly. You can close your eyes or keep them open, following my hand. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna change side so you're gonna close your left nostril with the ring finger freeing the right thumb inhaling and exhaling through the nose try to keep your left shoulder relaxed keep inhaling and exhaling 
close your eyes, you can relax there. Now we are using the right side of the body that is activating the left side of your brain, connected to the language, the analytical part, thinking, the logic. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now you're gonna close back again the right nostril. You're gonna inhale through the left. Inhale there. And exhale, changing the position on the fingers through the right. Exhale through the right. Now inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale left. Now you see how we are alternating them. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. You got the drill. Inhale right. Exhale left. Play with your fingers, swab them. Inhale left. You go for the last round. Exhale right. One more time. Inhale right. Exhale left. Release the hands. Inhalation through both nostrils. Exhale, release. Inhale deeply again. You can release the mudras on your hands. Just relax the hands. Exhale. One more time, we're gonna hold at the top. Inhale deeply. Hold it for five. Hold your breath. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, release everything. That, those last inhalation and exhalation helps you absorbing the benefits of your practice of Nadi Shodhana. I hope you enjoy the practice. Remember, this is something that you can practice anytime during the day. Just disconnecting yourself a little bit from the outside world, taking some time for yourself, few minutes. Try this breathing technique just to activate different parts of your brain, connected to different parts of your body and to clear your nadis, your energy channels. Have a beautiful day.